Four cars and they all black, got four bras and they all that We call that, ballin', doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling, my phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do, pen hat, man, what it do Going on to Rage Wars Live Train, welcome back today guys to the channel For some more Forza Horizon 3, back with the Play Seat Car Pack And today actually, we're gonna be taking a look at the Civic Type R once again. Now, I know what you're thinking right now, Slap. We already drove this last time, and I asked you guys actually in that video, what did you want to see next? Now, we actually had a comment here from Eduardo, and he goes, all-wheel drive, Type R toge build, and 94 of you guys liked that comment. So that is the plan for today, but I figured though we would, uh, you know, spice things up a little bit and do three different builds. The first build will be my own build. The second build will be a tune off of the storefront. Um, not a random tune, but we're going to try to select the tune that looks decent. And then to finish this off, we're going to go to the auction house and try to pick up a Type R with a tune on it and see which one is the better Type R out of the bunch. Ladies and gentlemen, we're on our way to the festival right now. If you'd like to keep seeing Forza Horizon 3 on the channel, don't forget to slap that like button. Of course, we gotta start our day off with a good old fresh coffee. Let me know what you guys are drinking or eating in the comment section down below. But cheers, though, man. Nothing's better than a fresh cup of coffee. Now, like I said, though, we're gonna go ahead and pretty much just max this thing right out. So what I'm thinking, though, is we may just go and auto upgrade all the way up to S1, if that's possible. How much is that gonna set us back, though, is the question. 603 horse. Um, should be okay for the mountains, I believe. This is a toge build, not really a drifting build. We're going to try to throw this thing a little bit sideways. Remember, we're going to be all-wheel drive, so this should be a hell of a lot of fun, you know, just to be able to really throw this thing around and uh, see what we can do. Now, I do believe this is... It's not swapped already, man. God damn. So, we're going to go ahead and just pretty much go through the entire thing. And, uh, you know, the plan for today is just a nice little grip build, have some fun in the mountains, and really just see where it takes us. We're going to definitely be running some race tire compound Horizon race tire compound actually to be more specific the paint that you are looking at is from Don Juan Sung So a huge thank you to that man for uh, just putting up some beautiful paint jobs man. This mine's civic right now uh, I'm feeling it man. I'm definitely feeling it Make sure you guys go show some love to that man on his storefront. He does so many designs up there It's absolutely ridiculous uh, we're gonna do probably the rally suspension and then just slam the entire thing down Now I do want to do more builds like this in the future You know trying out different tunes from the auction house or also too just from the tuning as well, too Or also too just from your tunes up on the storefront But if you guys would like to see these more often though, uh, let me know down below What car do you want to see done next? Here on the channel it could be really anything at all and I'm definitely down to do more builds like these where they're just kind of you know oddball cars that I would really never build on a daily basis and you know where you guys actually recommend cars is I feel where we get the most uniqueness out of these builds if I do say so myself $23,000 for a 603 horsepower K20 on this Type R. This should be a hell of a lot of fun. We're going to go out, throw it around, see where we are, and then uh, maybe throw a slight tune on here and then, you know, just kind of work from there. Alright, we're going to try a different free roam lobby. Uh, what the hell just happened right there? We're going to see if we can get some daylight on today's session, man. I hate driving in the dark. I wish there was a way just to keep the damn daylight out there, man. I don't know if it's just me or not. Obviously, you know, there's a time and place for the nighttime driving, but I just feel that- Oh, here we go, man. I told you, we're in the daylight. We're looking pretty damn solid, and we're just going to rip, rip the hell out of here, man. Look at the height on this thing. Oh, my God. You know what? Let's just drive it as it is. Now, remember, though, this thing's all-wheel drive, man. Oh, my God. He started in any class infected event. We got to do it, man. Now, I know this isn't supposed to be part of today's festivities, but any class... I mean, we have an all-wheel drive Civic, man. Let's might as well go in there and uh, turn some heads a little bit if we can. Now, I did want to talk about a little bit today about Project Cars 2. And, uh, you know, we know that it's coming out at the end of 2017. It should be right around, you know, I'd probably say November, December. Uh, but Project Cars 2 is looking very, 
very promising and to be honest with you um, I'm very excited I actually tweeted out the trailer for it and I will leave that down below for you guys to check out but uh, it looks very interesting they are promising some big numbers on the car list and also track list um, I pulled a tweet actually from one of their past tweets and it does say hundred and seventy plus cars including iconic brands 60 plus tracks support for VR and 12k now uh, those are some pretty big impressive numbers from project cars considering you know what we were given on project cars one and you know if you guys look at the trailer there's now snow um, you know there's now rally so it really kind of reminds me uh, you know they're trying to take a Gran Turismo style feel to it we're the first one come on now okay that's fine man we got the ground suspension we should be okay these guys aren't even gonna know what's going oh whoa neither am I okay where you going? Where you going, man? Bring your body style. Oh my god, you're lucky. Oh! Come here. Yeah, look at this, man. Too easy. Appreciate it. Who's next? This guy right here. Look at him. Where you going? Where you going, sir? Oh! Gee. Okay. Almost at him. Oh! We're getting this. What? Where is he? Where is No. That did not just happen, did it? It happened. Of course, feedback is super strong on this. Just wants to pull me every which way. Oh shit. Yes! Yes! Oh! We got him in the barrel roll! No way, man! Oh my god! I cannot believe that just happened. We're gonna go for four for four. Oh shit, man. Monster Jam out here. Let's go. Where you going, sir? Oh shit. Oh my god, I'm pissed! We both ate shit on that wall, man. Oh my god. The tune's good though, I'll tell you that though. I mean this is a stock tune as it is, but the car's fantastic nonetheless. Oh you shit! Oh, baby! Oh, my God. I figured he was going in there. I was praying anyways, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, take out everybody on that one there. Okay, that was pretty damn cool. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I mean, going back to Project Cars 2, though, um, the game looks fantastic, though. But, like I said, though, it kind of reminds me of Gran Turismo now. You know, they're trying to branch out into so many different racing disciplines. Uh, you know, is it going to go in their favor? You know, are they going to be able to do this many disciplines and keep the game, you know, perfect for everybody because as we know uh you know project cars one got so much flack last time that it came out you know everybody just wasn't a fan of it you really had to make sure your tune was dialed in and there was just you know there were so many things that was necessary before you know you were even able to play the game and you know if you had a wheel it was awesome i loved it but it just was something where you really needed to really have that mindset of driving you know a real car you couldn't screw up whatsoever so i really do hope that the realism factor is still there for the new project cars too uh but i will say though that i'm just i'm very excited to see where it goes you know the trailer just it was promising so much and you know i was reading up on it and they were saying that you know the tracks now are going to wear down as you progress through your season and i thought that was really cool knowing that you know if you are on a track for the weekend they said that you will see more wear as you're progressing through that track day experience so that's really cool to see what they are doing in terms of a time lapse situation for those tracks and really the first ones ever to do anything like that you know where a full season or you know a full week you can really see that kind of you know deterioration of the track as you're going through that so i'm really excited to see what they're going to do with it i'd love to know your thoughts down below i will leave a few links to a couple interviews uh that they were doing and it just it's looking good man i mean forza motorsport 7 um i don't know what do you guys think do you think it's going to be competition for them uh what are your thoughts down below now we got a tune on here just a very basic tune this is my tune so we're going to try this out see where this goes and then we're gonna hit the storefront to see what else is out there but uh she holds though man look at this fourth gear ripping this type r driving down third Ooh, the angle is real though god damn for like ken block man jdn ken block right here what do you know about that shit man 
Alright, well, the airport was hella fun. We're gonna hop right out of here. Excuse me. Not too sure why both cars were on the side of the road right there. Maybe it's a one-way street. I don't know. If it is, uh, my apologies on that. This thing definitely does haul some serious ass. And, considering the fact that I really enjoyed this car as it was front-wheel drive stock, uh, the handling on this is gorgeous. And I definitely recommend anybody to get this car a shot if you haven't already. We're going to try for a little 360, though on this highway, I figure why not, right, man? YOLO live once, right? YOLO, I'm just kidding. I haven't said that in so long, man. Oh my god. Come on! Are you serious? That's a perfect example of why you never use the word YOLO right there, man. You just don't do it anymore. It's just stupid. Plus it causes accidents. Alright, we're gonna see where this takes us. There's a sign right there. I haven't got any boards yet. There's a sign tap right there. I may have to double back and get that. So the purpose of this though is to separate these tunes with the kind of terrain that we're driving on. So I think for the second tune, we're gonna hop on over to Surfer's Paradise in the city to kind of feel that out. But uh, you know, this is kind of more or less in the outback, just cruising out, just seeing how it does on these longer stretches. But uh, this is pretty cool though, just driving an all-wheel drive Civic. I mean, this is not usually my first choice of a build, um, but the fact that we're here, it was requested. I'm down for it, man. We're hopping over the highway. Screw you. Yep. A little bit of dirt rally action here. Okay. Remember, we do have rally suspension on this thing, so I'm hoping for some big things. We're currently at the airport section. This is actually a really nice section to follow uh, if you're just kind of cruising around the airport. This outside track, whatever this is, it's sick to run it. If you can really connect these spots, it's a dream to drive it. But as long as you, you know, are respectable and try to stay on the damn thing and not just going all which way outside the line. But you gotta stay within the lines, man. Bring it back to coloring days. Stay in the lines, man. Here we go. We got a nice one there. Oh, shit. A little air? Woo! We're back in the strip again. I wasn't supposed to be here, but I wasn't. But I am. Alright, I think it's time though, we're going to go look for our second tune of the day. This thing was fun, man. Highly recommend checking this thing out if you haven't, but uh, I'm going to see what else is out there for the tunes. Alright, so suggested tunes. Uh, first one up is HRC Sea Ready. Now, if you guys don't know, uh, that man runs High Boost Racing Club. Huge channel. Absolutely love it. I've been meaning to get in a few sessions with those guys, so I will leave their channel link down below as well, too, for you guys. Do have one here from Don Juwan, and actually, uh, he's got a Beast S1 online, which is interesting considering we're using his paint. We might as well use his toot, right? I mean, that just seems it goes hand in hand with each other. Uh, pretty much everything's free. Okay, thank you so much. We're going to bring this down to S1 class and uh, all wheel drive as well, too, obviously. So we're going to keep that and let's see how we do s1 900 so this is perfectly set up for s1 and let's see how this differentiates itself from my tune that i just had um first things first though the gears seem a hell of a lot better we're in third gear right now just ripping this we're gonna go to fourth oh yeah man fourth gear was almost non-existent last time over here a little clutch kick okay Okay, I promise you guys Service Paradise, we're not there. We need to get to Service Paradise. I'll see you guys in Service Paradise. This guy hitting the roundabout by himself, man. I'm coming, sir. I'm gonna hit that roundabout with you. Still here? Sir, you still here? Oh, there he is right there. He's lagging. Oh my God. He's dangerous. Look at the leg. Oh my gee. What the? What are you doing, man? I'm right, gonna see if we can rip this roundabout with Don's too. Oh shit we can. That was that was seamless. Tell me just seen that. I just turned into it and we're in a constant drift right now. God damn, Don, you know what you're doing with your tunes, man. That's beautiful. I mean the tuning game is something very, very difficult to get into and really understand the minor clicks that you're doing. It seems like Don has definitely gotten that down. We're in third gear, just powering in to this corner. So I'm really excited to see how this is going to do on some of the longer corners actually in Service Paradise because uh, it feels like this thing is going to rip, man. Definitely haul ass on this car. We're going to take a right up here actually instead. Rip the handbrake up. Where are we right here? Yep. Excuse me. 
Just gotta remember though that this is all wheel drive and not rear wheel drive, man. I can't just kind of throw it in and then you just gas it out. Really need to rely on the handbrake. Ooh, there we go. Okay, um, so far, this tune is a lot better than my tune. <laughs> First impressions, right? I mean, shit. Uh oh, don't hit the lamp roll, thank you. Man, I'll never forget seeing Service Paradise for the first time from afar and thinking, damn, that's big, man. I can't wait to get there. And then once you get there, you're like, oh, that's it? Like, where's the buildings, right? I mean, I don't know. Is that just me? But I, I really thought that Service Paradise was going to be a hell of a lot bigger than what it was is all I'm saying. Where are we? Oh, shit. Just a tap on that, man. Just a tap. I'm sorry. Take that shit out of my insurance, all right? Drop it down to first gear. Oh, we didn't even touch it. Let's get a little uh, third to fifth gear pull. See how we do. Where is this taking me right now? It better not be taking me back towards the airport. Because that will be real up. It is, man. It's taking me right back to the damn roundabout. And this guy's still here. Are you kidding me? Why are they still here? They got the roundabout in their blood, apparently, man. Look at this. Oh, it's Jigsaw. What's good? Damn, I haven't seen this guy in a minute. Let's get a little all-wheel drive action with his real one. Excuse me, sir. I'm getting a scoop. Yeah, thank you. All-wheel drive. Appreciate it. I'm that guy, man. I'm that guy pushing out the way in all-wheel drive. Excuse me. This thing is so clean, though. I cannot get over it. How nice this actually is. I'm going back to Day of Service Paradise. Let's see if he follows. Nope. I'm a Lone Ranger today, man. Lone Ranger this shit up. That's okay, though. All right, we're going to yank this. I love throwing it, man. All-wheel drive on the wheel is so satisfying. It's absolutely ridiculous how satisfying this actually is. But if you can really extend some of these corners just like this. Oh, there we go. Don't hit that tree. Oh, my God. I almost died. The wheel was pulling, man. I'm telling you, it was pulling. And it's funny, though, because I see a lot of you guys uh, that are getting wheels and sending me messages like, Holy shit, Slop. How do you play on that force feedback? You really got to grab the wheel, but you got to make sure that you're being smart with it. Otherwise, you know, you're going to just torque your wheel right over. So, you know, using a wheel is something that you definitely need to get used to. And it's not something that's just going to, you know, you're going to be able to pick up and become a pro at. Because I came so close to selling my wheel when I first got it. And, you know, it was, it was a process, man. It's a learning experience. But once you get it, though... It makes everything more damn fun, man. Oh my god, I was about to say funner, and I'm like, don't be stupid. Oh shit, I'm stupid. Now I really don't know what I want to call this series regarding these triple tunes and you know using other people's tunes and such like that. If you guys have any ideas, leave them down in the comment section down below. But uh, I mean, we got a little triple tune style attack here. I don't really know what I want to call this, but. Um, I mean, I do enjoy the idea of using other tunes as we progress through here, you know, trying different ones out and then finding the best one out of the bunch. I mean, to me, it's just different, you know, having more or less a random tune, if you will, that you don't know what it is. I like that aspect. I really do. I've always liked the randomness coming from some build. That's, oh my God. Yeah, we're okay. Those trees broke, thankfully. We're going for 360. Don Juan style right here. Come on, hold it. Oh, we're good. Let's go, baby. It's all in the tune right there. It's all in the tune. Here we go. Back on these damn routes. Why am I back here? It's a stupid damn route that I have set on my map. Uh, it's just consistently making me come back here, and I'm following it every time like an idiot. I, I don't know what to say on that, man. But I'll tell you what, though. Uh, let's do one more infected event. As long as I'm not the one infected first again is all I'm asking for. Come on, I'm... Why? Why am I infected again, man? Can we do it? Ooh! Oh! Let's go! Oh! Are you kidding? What? Unbelievable. I thought I was going to land on that, man. That would have been impressive. Did he make it? Oh my god, he made it. Excuse me, so am I. Oh, this guy's going this way. Okay, screw that. I'm going this way. Jesus, that was hectic. Oh, he hit it. Yeah, you better go underneath it there, sir. I'm coming. Oh, shit. No way. 
Oh my god, I thought he made that. Right, he's going in the tunnel, he's going in the tunnel. Sir, I got your ass. There you go. And you're next. Oh. Come on, where is he? Get him. Oh my god, he just jumped right out of there. Let's go. Badass. It's like a damn action move. Oh my god. Really? 30 seconds, man. We have not touched this man. Oh, come on. Where is he? Oh, he's right there. No. No. Let's go, let's go. Oh my god, we're not gonna get him. This is embarrassing. We, we gotta get him. We gotta get him, man. Oh, we're not getting him. Okay, yep. Landed it. Alright, so this is my first time actually trying to find a car on the auction house. And I mean, like I said, I'd love to do more of these. Just let me know your thoughts. Uh, we got damn... Pretty much roughed up on that King event. I'm not really too happy about that, unfortunately. But it is what it is, man. Uh, man was good. I'll tell him that, right? I mean, um, it doesn't even show me the stats of the car. What? What the hell is this, man? S2. Okay. Now tell me though. Do I gotta look at every car individually? I do have to look at every car individually. This wasn't a thing back in Forza 4, I believe. Um, back when we actually had the auction house, we could see the car before we bought it and you can see exactly what was up with the car you can see on like a little window it would show all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive just so that way you're not having to go into every single car to see what's done to it I think this is a really kind of just it's a time wasting setup right I mean you have to go into every car to see whether or not you want to buy it you know to me it's just it's not a fluent experience in the auction house having to you know go in go out go in go out see what you want to buy and uh, you know, perfect example. Let's go to this one right here. This is S1. Looks good. 40 grand bio. Can we steal an all-wheel drive car for that much? Let's wait in the loading screen. And no, it is front-wheel drive. So we just wasted what 10 seconds times that by how many times you're gonna go in the auction house over your lifespan of Forza Horizon 3. Uh, you know, it adds up, man. Time is money, right? I mean, shit. We gotta go through and look at everything. So hopefully, Playground Games in Turn 10 updates that. For a next update in order so we can actually um you know see what the hell we're buying before we buy it yes that's cool we can see the car but i want to know what tune is involved in this car as well too at least for this specific situation now i'm curious though can we search all-wheel drive can we do that no we can't unfortunately but um yeah so that's that's a little bit disheartening right now there's not that many cars up on the auction house let's see if this one is all-wheel drive or not i'm hoping it is Ribble we'll drive this. Okay, you know what? I've had enough of this shit. This is not guess who of Forza Horizon 3, okay? So we're going to leave it on this note for today, looking at the auction house. Uh, for next episode, whatever car you want done for this kind of build series, let me know down below for this triple threat build. Um, I really don't know what I'm going to call this, like I said, so leave your comments down below if you want to help name this series, and also too if you have any suggestions, any constructive criticism, and or a car suggestion for next episode. I greatly appreciate that. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this episode on Forza Horizon 3. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Something different. Something different. Throw it around an all-wheel drive car. I would love to know your thoughts about Project Cars 2. Are you going to be getting it when it comes out? What are your thoughts, opinions? What do you like? What do you dislike? Let it all down in the comments section. Ladies and gentlemen, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of which are found down below. Forza Horizon 3, Jabuta Side Train. I'm out.